So hey there, welcome to Travelers Backpacker, myself Nikhil over here. So today I'm here with the new travel updates towards United States of America and especially we are going to talk about F1 visa and also about the date availability for your OFC and interview and also we are going to talk about other visa category especially like H1B and the dependent visas like H4, J1, K1 and also about B1, B2 and mainly we are going to talk about the dates availability for your OFC and your interview. Okay guys, so this video is mainly dedicated to F1 students who are awaiting for the dates to go towards uh, your university. So make sure you guys follow this uh, video guys and make sure you go through complete video so that you get a lot of information and the, all the information which is given on this video is also available on US travel updates and also for COVID-19 informations, you can visit CDC website so that you get the information over there too. And also we are going to discuss about the third wave of this COVID-19, what can be expected when you travel towards India and also when you travel towards any other country or especially towards United States of America. So guys, without delaying and also before that, before starting the video, if you're new to my channel Travelers Backpacker, please do go ahead and like, share and subscribe guys. And let's begin the journey without delay. <laughs> So guys, I hope you guys have been awaiting to know about this travel update since very long time. So sorry guys, I couldn't do much videos because of my busy schedule and also I do, I got to work also, right? So, so that is the only reason I couldn't do much videos and many of you been contact me, uh, contacting me through calls and emails and also for your information guys, we have launched a new website called www travelersbackpacker.com and this is especially dedicated for blogging guys and we'll be doing a lot of blogging so I'll be sharing the link in the description so that you guys can also visit the website and get the latest updates uh, about the travel and also about the food and uh, my travel experiences all right guys so without delaying let's get into the journey guys and especially let me talk about the f1 students and many people many f1 student candidates you already got i20 right now and you guys have been waiting for the dates for your oic and interview where many of you couldn't get the dates right so for your information guys as of now due to the lot many people who have been uh, queued up right now for the interviews and everything there are a lot many applicants coming in so due to the high volume of application there is no possibilities of getting dates as of now but definitely yes you're gonna get the dates but you're gonna have a little bit patience and also guys when you are getting some other dates and uh, booking uh, a slot for emergency uh, when you give for emergency guys i20 is not only necessary for you guys and also you gotta get a letter from the university the letter from the university which should mean that your presence your presence is required at the class uh, for so and so year like whichever uh, dates you're gonna travel up so your presence is required over there there should be a recommendation letter given from you a uh, university or from your lecturer or whomever it is so better make sure that uh, if you guys are uh, getting delayed on getting your dates or anything like that please do ask for a recommendation letter from your universities where you have been enrolled so that it would be really helpful for you guys to get the dates asap so i hope you guys understood it and especially coming to the student point of contact guys once you get the visa it doesn't mean that it gives you a uh, full-fledged entry towards united states of america so as as soon as you enter to united states there'll be a dhs uh, guy who's going to be questioning you but it doesn't matter guys but also this is only for the safety purpose of you at the port, port of entry they'll be asking you why are you coming to united states and everything please do give the legit answers guys and as there were a couple of uh, people who already uh, been to united states and uh, more like i guess like uh, three or four of uh, the guys had a bit problem but it got solved guys and the only thing why they got stopped by immigration person was they didn't give the legit answer because when the immigration personnel is asking you, because he is asking you, are you legit and are you capable to enter into United States? And the questions why he asks you is like, this is called a first check, guys. It doesn't mean that you get a visa, you get an entry towards United States of America. But if you plan for everything, make sure you 100% thorough with your things. You know, 100% thorough with your things in the sense like I'm not meaning anything, you know, negative. But I am just letting you know because you already spent a lot of money. So give the 
actual information why are you traveling to united states so that it will give you a good impression and you'll get stamped and you can proceed into the states wherever you are going to travel and coming to the next point of contact like especially students make sure you guys take travel insurance before traveling travel insurance is very much mandatory guys as you guys know that there is a third wave on track already it's on radar but the impact is very slow but also we don't know finger crossed right we don't know what can be uh, what is going to happen and everything but also making sure as um, as I'm working for the aviation service industry and also for the tourism department, it's my duty to intimate each one of you guys to wear mask. Also protect yourself. Always be sanitized because that can, you know, how much ever we protect, we are going to be safe side guys. So don't get ill. So make sure you always be hydrated. Drink a lot of water, which is very much important for you guys. And uh, yeah, uh, this is what the thing is about F1 students and uh, all about the student uh, category visa holders so i hope you guys understood this uh, scenario what you got to keep in mind uh, and, and if you have any uh, any any questions or anything please do comment in the comment box i can reply to you and also the contact number is given in the description you guys can definitely go over there and give me a call yeah, good for you guys so coming to h1b and h4 visa category guys and many of you are traveling from united states of america to india so especially if you don't have dates guys so just keep one thing in mind especially i'm talking about h1b uh, guys who got approved for your h1b and you guys are going to come to stamp over here right for your stamping so guys as you guys know that due to the number of increase in size with uh, all the applicants it is very hard to get the you know dates and everything and also for your information you need to also get a letter from your employing stating that you are immediate you know uh, your immediate presence in the office is required so that uh, with that documentation at least we can prove you can prove yourself that you're so genuine and your uh, your responsibility towards the company and also the immigration personals or the uh, people who are sitting behind uh, uh, you know in the back center can check into that and allot you a dates for your interview or for your uh, h1b renewal or for your dropbox options okay guys and also coming to h4 visa holders Many of you already uh, been asking me, sir, can you get the dates and everything? See, guys, you even you can get the dates, but the patience is required for you guys. And making sure down the line, if it's very important to travel towards United States, if it's a humanitarian basis or the emergencies related to your medical or anything like that, you can definitely give an evidence of that emergency and you can get your dates, guys. Okay, and then you can expect certainly a delay on getting the visa slot availability and coming to the second uh, second point of contact and this especially this point is going to be my own uh, thing what I'm giving you a suggestion guys and especially for H1B and H4 visa holders guys if at all if you're not getting uh, dates or if your expiry date of your visa is nearby make sure that you contact an immigration lawyer. And uh, why I'm saying uh, to contact immigration lawyer in the sense because there is already third wave is already out. We don't know anything can uh, come forward. There might be a sudden lockdown, but there is no possibilities. But also you don't know because number uh, number of cases is increasing across the world already. The, um, you know, many countries already barred uh, African uh, countries to enter into their countries and with there are many uh, cases also they're giving the exemption for the travel uh, travelers uh, from Africa towards any other country with certain rules and regulation where they got to carry the RT-PCR and uh, you know there should be uh, like uh, vaccination certification which needed to be provided so I hope you guys understand the scenario and also for your information guys see guys many uh, many of you are calling like uh, sir uh, am I going to get the date uh, in December or January or something like that You've been asking, right? But guys, frankly speaking, I can't give you any guarantee. I'm not the personal or I'm not uh, embassy general who can give you uh, slots or anything. The better point of contact is the embassy directly contact the WAC center, whichever country you are situated in right now, so that you might be knowing the scenario. And also, if you contact them also, there is a time gap. You know, you need to uh, be online for almost like uh, one, one and a half hours, sometimes, you know, two hours. Sometimes your call gets connected in 15 minutes. But for your own suggestion, for, uh, it's my own suggestion for you guys. If at all, if you want to come towards India, if it's very necessary, then only come to India, guys. Or else, please do not come as of now. So better seek a help of uh, immigration lawyer back in states. Um, you know, 
after coming over here if you're not getting dates uh, so you gotta uh, you'll be stuck up in india guys so you know everything is finger crossed right now so i hope you guys understand the situation and the importance uh, if you return back to india or any other country because you know as per as per uh, you know the new rules and regulation and everything we are seeing every day new new things are coming overnight so you guys also need to visit us travel updates for new and detailed information so i'm just giving you an scenarios and i'm just briefing you on what all you should concentrate on guys so that is what this video is regarding okay guys and also for covid 19 uh, intimation and for more updates you need to uh, visit cdc website which will be given your know, every three hours or one hour the things are updated on that so that you can get the new travel information over there too and we'll be also doing simultaneously we'll be also doing a lot of videos on it okay guys and now coming to the third wave of covid 19 and this uh, covid 19 third wave uh, so coming to the uh, point of uh, covid 19 third wave uh, which is also known to be omicron uh, which is one of the dangerous and uh, which is actually acting very drastically in the human beings as if now there have been a lot of positive cases, but there is no casualties yet, guys. So it doesn't mean that there is no casualty. It doesn't mean that you uh, uh, you can remove your mask and, you know, stay away from all these things. But no, guys, this is mandatory. This is one of the recommendations from United Nations and from WHO, guys. It is recommended that you need to wear the mask and sanitize yourself, uh, you know, uh, and we can expect a lot of delays uh, in uh, especially uh, talking about in the uh, in the terms of visas and immigration procedures and there's going to be a lot of things uh, which you need to also focus while you're traveling in and out of india and especially people who are who wanted to travel towards india if at all if you're coming to india guys you can expect an rt pcr on arrival until unless you don't get the negative report you won't be able to get out of airport because it's already uh, Indian External Affairs has been updated on its website. For more information, you got to visit uh, Indian External Affairs website so that you get the new travel updates over there. So until they're going to collect your samples and also while you're traveling, you need to make sure that you carry RT-PCR along with you. And India is also going very strict and they're also taking care of each one of your safety and which is very much mandatory. We need to protect all the citizens also, guys. And already we have come across with all this first wave and second wave right now it's a time of third wave we need to make sure we need to gear up with everything especially with masks and sanitizers and you know these are the things and especially who are traveling towards india and especially from international countries you can expect a delay to come out of airport because as soon as you arrive once you're done with your immigrations they'll be taking you uh, to the rtpcr place and once you get your result and uh, you'll be sent out if it's negative if it's uh, positive i don't know guys there is certain uh, things which is going on quarantine facilities is also getting ready right now and coming to the next point and even if you get negative you need to go and make yourself home quarantine for seven days and on the end of seventh day you need to uh, go with your rt pcr once again and making sure that you're good with everything because you, you never know guys because this covid is uh, this omicron is one of the deadliest deadliest virus and we don't know what is going on across the world but we can see that a lot of people actually suffering and it is getting a lot of uh, you know uh, negative impact on many countries and especially to the travel industries and everything so i guess guys you guys understand the scenario and you'll be going with a home quarantine in india on your facility and for your safety for your you know community safety and for everyone guys we recommend you i myself travelers backpacker nikhil surender i'm gonna recommend you guys if you are traveling out of uh like out of any country you're coming towards india or you're going to uh, any other country make sure you go with the quarantine guys and also you need to it's a small request and it's a great heartful request for you all guys that you do follow the rules and regulation of the government or the immigration uh, immigration rules and regulation which you need to be moving forward with because that is given only for your safety guys so that your community yourself your family especially talking about your family is going to be safe from this deadliest virus but guys there is no uh, as of now there is no uh, intimation stated that there's a lockdown or anything maybe 
in future we don't know how it's going to be guys but we are the only persons who can keep the things right and uh, you know guys understand understand all the situation and i guess you guys got a lot of uh, important information about this covid-19 a uh, third wave and also about like f1 student visa holders and the f1 student we uh, f1 students who are waiting for getting your oac and interview dates and also we uh, spoke about h1b um, and h4 visa and coming to b1 b2 visa holders <coughs> guys it might be a little bit delay i as you guys know you are aware about all these things about the third wave is coming up and there are a lot of importance needed to be given for h1 and especially for the work of work visa holders and and also for students because they go they are going to commence their studies in very short time you know from jan they're going to start their studies so um i hope you guys also understand if at all if there is any emergency especially humanitarian basis emergency or any medical emergency for that to get your b1 b2 visa or particular kind of visa you need to have a good evidence which can prove you the better uh, i mean uh, which can prove your eligibility or your uh, you know united states because that can affect you because you provide some information uh, and especially after going to the interview if you give any wrong information definitely guys they're going to reject your visa so whatever you're doing make sure you think twice before whatever you're submitting towards united states of america the uh, uh, united states council and especially to embassy so whatever the information you're given everything will be noted and everything will be under record so it doesn't mean like i send something will uh, will take care of it it's not like that guys whatever you are whatever your scenario is to uh, uh, go travel towards united states make sure you stick on to that because this is not a small thing guys you can't play with immigration you might get lead to ban also guys so just keeping all the safety things in your mind because we need to follow all the rules and regulations because the country if they are giving us visa we need to uh, follow the rules and regulation of that particular country is also right so let's take care of safety first and once again as a experti of this travel and aviation tourism and especially working on this covid-19 particular situation myself nikolo vaya who also work for united nations for unsc and especially helping out uh, certain programs and uh, certain units across the world i would also specially recommend you guys to wear mask wear uh, wear gloves and also sanitize yourself maintain the social distance guys i know it's very hard right now i've seen even sometimes we i, I even i don't wear mask but it doesn't mean that if i'm not wearing mask i don't get affected with covid-19 definitely even i'm going to suffer a lot if i'm not following the rules and regulation if i'm not protecting myself so i hope you guys understand the severity of this covid-19 and the travel uh, towards the other countries so i hope you like uh, you guys like this video and if you have any kind of questions or any kind of things you need to ask please put on uh, put on your comments in the comments box guys and also the contact number is given in the description you can contact me up and there is what so i hope you guys uh, got the complete information about this new travel updates till that bye bye from nikhil see you at next video and keep supporting me guys if at all if you haven't subscribed my channel travel is backpacker please do go ahead and like share and subscribe and also press on the bell icon so that press on all buttons so that you get my video as a notification on to your device till that bye bye from nikhil ciao ciao